everybody if you're looking for a recipe for baby back ribs for the air fryer then this is it today i'm going to be doing a review on the magic chef extra large air fryer if you guys are interested in purchasing this unit please check the description box because there is a 20 percent off code that you can use on their official website only to get 20 percent off you'll be able to find the recipe ingredients in the description box today please subscribe to cooking with tobia for notifications on my uploads on mondays and thursdays please keep in mind i have a schedule change coming very soon Today we are doing a review on the Magic Chef Extra Large 5.8 Air Fryer. I received this a few days ago and I'm coming on behalf of introducing this product to you. And it came with a recipe manual as well as an instruction manual. It came with the air fryer itself. You can pull it out and it includes one deep fryer basket insert. So the recipe we're doing is going to be baby back ribs. Um, huge shout out to Kelly's Cooking. So I'm going to begin by making my rub. And this rub is inspired by Kelly's Cooking Channel. And I just changed it up a little bit, add a couple ingredients. You can find her channel in the description box. So I'm adding some garlic powder, onion powder, celery seed, black pepper, brown sugar. And then I have some kosher salt. I'm going to add a little bit of kosher salt to it. Kosher salt and some paprika. And then I'm going to add a little bit of red pepper flakes. You can use cayenne as she did, but I like to have red pepper. So we're just going to just list all those ingredients together. If you need a recipe for brown sugar, check the description box because I am using homemade brown sugar. So I do apologize for the view, my tripod broke. I have here a slab of baby back ribs. This is, and um, I didn't peel the membrane off because I didn't want them to be completely falling off the bones. Cause this is my first time cooking the air fryer and I don't know if mine's gonna turn out as good as other people's I've seen. So I'm rubbing that in. And I did preheat my air fryer. I preheated it at 400 degrees for about three minutes. Cause I've seen a lot of people use their air fryer and they preheat theirs. And I cut my ribs in half as she did. And I'm going to, let me see. I'll finish slicing them once they're done. Okay, so into the air fryer it goes. Then I'm going to hit the power button here and I'm going to take it to, I'm going to cook mine for 40 minutes, but what I'm going to do is cook it for 20 minutes first at 400 degrees. And then after 20 minutes, I'm going to let them cook and I'm going to rotate them. Machine automatically powers on. So we'll be back in 20 minutes to flip. Seven minutes left until it's time to flip them. It smells wonderful. I love this little display screen. It's so nice and you have all these different menu options here with presets. But yeah, seven more minutes, six more minutes. Can't wait to flip them. I can't wait to see what the Magic Chef Extra Large has done to the ribs so far. Three minutes left and at this moment I'm having a UPS FedEx moment and if you don't know what that is it's when you constantly run outside and look for UPS and FedEx because you have a package on the way and you're that excited and you're wondering where that truck is but you keep checking every 30 seconds or so so because there's three minutes left and I know we're gonna have to cook these a bit longer I'm curious oh my goodness this is actually cooking it very well so far Oh my god, you can hear the sizzle on it. The color looks amazing. I'm going to take the temperature of it because I'm just curious. I would like to see the temperature of the inside of this. I'm sorry I'm being long-winded, but let's see where we at. We are at 100 40-ish degrees. Wow, so this is actually almost done. Okay. 
Okay. So I found my tongues after searching for about 40 hours. So we're gonna get them to flip. And they do look really good so far. Let me flip the other. Mmm, I can't wait till these are done. So back in, I'm gonna let these go for about 23 minutes since I cheated on the three minutes earlier. And then we'll see how that goes. So still running, we're gonna hit it up to 23 minutes. So this can finish cooking as my corn on the cob is steaming. So ribs, it went off. It's been 23 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. See what it looks like. Oh, wow, beautiful. Let's give you guys a better view. Look at the color of those ribs. They smell nice. Let's flip them. They're nicely browned. And I'm gonna take the temp of them. Let's make sure they're at least 100. It's 60 degrees, 65 degrees. When you take the temp, always put it in the thickest part, your meat thermometer in the thickest part of the meat. So we're at 165. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put them in some barbecue sauce and we're going to put it back in the air fryer. So I'm going to slice these using my Dow Strong knife. I think I'm going to slice them where it's like two pieces of rib. So slice them all up. So I went ahead and I sliced up, I sliced them, and I actually just went ahead and sliced them as one. And I have some barbecue sauce here. I'm using Hawaiian barbecue sauce. But I didn't feel like making any. I wanted this to be an easy meal. And I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's Hawaiian style barbecue sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this barbecue sauce over all the ribs. I'm gonna just Baste them. I'm gonna rub the ribs down and then we're gonna put this back in our air fryer for about five more minutes. You know what? I'm actually gonna do it for about three minutes actually because I don't want to overcook. So we lather them down with our barbecue sauce back into the air fryer it goes. And then I'm going to hit the power button. We're gonna change the time. I think I'm gonna do it for about three minutes, like I said, because these are completely done. And I'm gonna put it on 400 degrees. We'll be back. So my magic chef just beat. Holy cow! I'm gonna pull this out, plate them up, and we're going to give them a taste. Here's our, here is our baby back ribs. If you're interested in the magic chef extra large pressure cooker, head over to the official website in the description box, and you can get 20% off by entering discount code Tovia and it will only work on New Year's website only, the discount code. So here's our beautiful ribs. Shout out to Kelly. Kelly, thank you so much for sharing your recipe. I decided I'll give it a go. I just added a few extra ingredients. These are so beautiful in color. They smell good. Sorry for being so long-winded. Oh my God. Mmm. This is so delicious. The air fryer did an excellent job. Yum. It's really tender. Oh my goodness. And it didn't take forever to cook these. It cooked pretty quickly. Please add this video to your playlist and share it if you enjoy it. And if you have a recipe request, please leave that in the comments section and stay tuned to my channels so that way you can be aware of what's going on as far as schedule changes and stuff because I am making a lot of changes and making a lot of announcements um, I have a contest going over going on on my baking channel head over there and check it out so we can join close on September the 7th 2018 please remember to live and be well let's do what we can to come together and love one another